All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the video for the best gaming computers on Amazon that are less than $2,000 as rated by me. Um, welcome to the channel, um, and we will get started right away. So I made myself a shopping list of, I believe it is uh, five computers, yep, if I can count today, that uh, I picked out of anything between a $1,200 price range to a $2,000 price range to um, kind of throw you, give you an idea of uh, what's out there and I'll kind of give you my take on each computer and maybe where I would go with my money if I was going to buy one of these as well. So um, let's start here at the lower end. We'll talk about these two $1,200. Uh, this is a almost a $1,300 computer. This one's at $1,229. Um, so I included both of these uh, just so we can get an idea of kind of what's in this range. Now if we look at the specs, they're both liquid cooled on the uh, GPU. I'm sorry, on the CPU. Um, this one has a Ryzen 5 3600. This has a Ryzen 7 3800X, which is a uh, much higher end processor. Um, they both have uh, 16 gigabytes DDR, 3200 megahertz memory. Uh, this computer here has uh, one terabyte NVMe SSD, which is a much faster uh, drive than the one terabyte SATA 3 drive that you see up here. And of course, they both have Wi Fi and Win 10 comes with them. This one, the biggest. Second biggest difference is this runs the uh, Radeon 5700 XT 8 gigabyte, and this is running a RTX 2060 Super 8 gigabyte. And uh, they're fairly comparable, but uh, probably the 5700 XT is going to be your best bet for uh, gaming performance out of those two. Um, so this one, obviously, I think most of the price is around the case, to be quite honest with you. Um, so if you're really digging this case, then that might be something you want to look at. But I think the best value at this $1,200, $1,300 price range um, for a gaming PC is going to be this CyberPower. Um, so let's go and just take a quick look around at it. Um, as I said, you can see we got here. The other thing that's nice, it's a B550 chipset. So um, assuming that CyberPower puts out a BIOS update for the motherboard, you should be able to run the um, new Ryzen 5000 seri pro series processors on this motherboard if you want to upgrade. And of course, you could upgrade the uh, graphics card as well to uh, something new from NVIDIA. I'm sorry, well, from NVIDIA or Radeon. And obviously, if you want to match the uh, Ryzen. 5000 to the Radeon 6000 series card, you will get a smart access memory boost from that combination, but certainly not required. Um, <coughs> so let's just look inside. You can see they give you a look at the RGB, which is not too bad. Another overhead view of it, give you a front panel. Looks like we got two USB 3.0 slots, and then your typical power and um, headset and uh, microphone ports and then here's a side view looks like we have down here you can see that there is a PCIe slot open uh, it looks I think it's a buy at times four slot then your uh, graphics card below that and I think there is also another, yeah, it looks like there's another full-size PCIe slot under that. So um, you could install something there, such as um, maybe a graphics capture card or something to that effect. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, we look up here at the memory. It looks like it's a four-slot configuration um, with two matching sticks for the... Uh, 16 gigabytes that are in it. Uh, obviously, you have your um, liquid cooler there. Um, and there is uh, two more slots for additional memory, so you could go up to 32 gigabytes here pretty easily. Um, let's see what else we got. Looks like 
nothing uh, too much to notice there. The uh, wire routing is uh, pretty good on this PC. I'll give them credit for that. I mean, that's really, that's pretty clean, to be honest. I like that. Um, just looking around here to see if we can see. So there is the slot for the M.2. So it comes with an M.2, correct? Was that what I had here? Let me make sure I got my facts straight. Yep, so it comes with a one terabyte dot uh, M.2. So it looks to me like there's a second M.2 slot right there. So you probably could install a second uh, M.2 NVMe drive if you want it, which is always a nice feature. Um, so you'll have a super fast storage to go along with uh, everything else that you're getting in the computer. So that's a pretty that's a pretty nice computer for that for that price range. If you're looking for something in that price range, you know, sub fifteen hundred dollar kind of mark, this is this is definitely a nice option. So let's go back and look at <clears throat> excuse me what else we have here. So we got the two more. So um, the next two are in the fourteen to fifteen hundred dollar range. Um, so, first one's Allied Gaming PC Patriot Desktop, and uh, that's a Ryzen 9 3900X, which is a pretty high-end processor from the previous generation of, of the Ryzen that just, uh, compared to the Ryzen, you know, 5000 series that just came out. It also has a AMD RX 7, uh, 5700 XT, 8GB, 16GB of DDR3200, a 1TB PCIe NV. ME SSD. It's running an X570 chipset, which is nice because uh, assuming that Allied Gaming has a BIOS update, you'll be able to run the new 5000 series processors in this board as well. Uh, 600 watt power supply, uh, of course some RGB and it is Wi-Fi ready. The other one is an MSI Aegis RS 10SD uh, TAC 014US high-end full tower desktop. It has a uh, Intel Core i7 10700KF, so that's the most modern generation for the i7 currently. Um, it does run the RTX 2070 Super uh, with 8 gigabytes of memory. Uh, it also has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 uh, memory. I believe it's the 30, 3200 variety as well. Um, it has a one terabyte SSD, which is actually a PCIe NVMe uh drive so that's nice and of course Wi-Fi as well so if we go in here and take a look at these two computers <clears throat> we can see from this picture um, it has two sets of RG uh, two sticks of RGB memory has the uh, uh, standard AMD cooler on the end on the um, CPU come in the front gives you kind of an idea has a Looks like a metallic uh, sort of coloring on the front to it. The sides are definitely looks more white there. So I guess maybe the, the mesh is metallic, but the outside of the box is actually white. Um, here it gives you some information. So there's a PCU shroud, PSU shroud, which is nice so that it hides all the uh, wiring and such down there. Um, has a mesh touch panel. We talked about that. You're going to get 320 fans in the front plus 120 millimeter fan in the back for exhaust. Um, has a full length tempered side glass panel, which is nice. Um, does have the white paint finish and uh, it says it supports ATX motherboards and 244 millimeter liquid coolers. So if you wanted to liquid cool your CPU here, you could definitely do that. Uh, so let's go back, take a look at the other one. Now, obviously, this one is a in a black case, so I kind of got one of each color just so we could take a look. This one is uh, water cooled. So let's take a look. There's the front. See, it's pretty clean. Has a RB, RGB fan showing through on half of it. On the back, there's the other RGB fan. And there is the top kind of uh, showing what you got. Looks like you got some super speed 
3.0, you got a USB-C, um, your head, headphone, microphone and such as well. And then of course your power reset, those sorts of things. What's interesting in this shot is it does not show the mother it looks like it doesn't show the motherboard installed or any of the uh, graphics card stuff installed, which is kind of interesting. But uh, unless I'm missing something here, but I don't believe so. So that's a little bit weird. But uh, if it says that it's coming with those items, I'm sure it is. Um, so let's go back, take another look, see at both of these. So this is, like I said, this is the uh, Intel Core i7 for this MSI. Um, it's pretty nice, decent case. Um, it does have a 2070 Super, which is comparable as well to the uh, 5700 XT, more so than the uh, more so than the 2060 Super that we were looking at up here, obviously. Compared to the 5700, I would say that the 26, uh, 2070 Super is more on par with the uh, 5700 XT as far as gaming performance. You may have a slight edge with the 5700, um, depending on what you're running, but I would say that they're relatively comparable. Um, obviously, you can take a look around on online for um, reviews and such of those if you'd like to uh, get a better idea of which one if you're really trying to eke out every piece of uh, you know gaming horsepower that you can then I would encourage you to go look at um, some stuff other stuff here on YouTube to find out um, you know if one makes more sense for you than the other um, but those are both very comparable you can see this one's slightly cheaper and it also has um, Looks like it has uh, Amazon Prime as well, Prime shipping. So that's if you use Prime like I do, that's probably a big factor for you. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, so that's the uh, around the 1500 price mark. I do have one other computer that's right around $2,000. I know I called this video under $2,000, but I thought I'd include this just because I think it's a really good deal for what you're getting. So this is an Omen HP Obelisk gaming desktop computer. It has a ninth generation. Core i9, so it is not the most current generation, but um, it's a 9900K, with the, with the most current being a 10900K. Um, but it is still a good chip as far as uh, Intel chips go. Um, you are getting the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super, which is only really beaten by the 2080 Ti of the uh, you know the 20 series RTX cards. And uh, you're getting 32 gigabytes of HyperX RAM, which is nice RAM and uh, nice capacity there. You're getting a one terabyte SSD, which is also PCIe uh, NVMe uh, VR ready as well. So let's go look at what they give us. So you get cutting edge graphics. You get the RTX 2080 Super. Um, here it shows you um, meets minimum system requirements or meets recommended system requirements for pretty much a lot of the uh, what I would say popular and current titles that people are playing out there so that's nice <coughs> um, do does not come with a monitor I think they're just trying to show some software that uh, comes with it so it shows you some of the uh, features that come with it um, does have like we talked about RGB um, and a bunch of availability for upgrading over here um, so that's cool nothing uh, really uh, terribly uh, you know I could talk about that it does come as you can see down here the um, wired keyboard and mouse there is they are included um, there's a DTS headphone X jack it also comes with a set of headphones I believe we'll go down and take a look at that and it is overclockable so that's always nice as well if you're into overclocking so let's just go down here and look uh, yeah so here's what comes with it um, so you know when I take that back I don't let me let me double check here make sure I'm not guiding you guys wrong here uh, doo -doo -doo. so it gives you the software we talked about that talked about the drive and the memory now this is 2666 um, SRAM 
or SD RAM, so um, it is not the fastest out there, but um, you definitely can upgrade that if you'd like. Um, and as we uh, saw, it looks like it's upgraded a little 64, so there's probably uh, two more slots that you could stick memory in as well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so it comes with a keyboard and mouse, black uh, black wired keyboard, volume controls, and a wired optical mouse. Uh, comes has the headphones, you know, typical jacks we talked about. Got your HDMI on the rear, and then three Display Ports. So you got four connection uh, types on the back for monitors, and that is about it. And then, like I said, it does show down here some other features, other things you can get. Um, this keyboard would be uh, a nice keyboard, Cherry MX, if you're into that clicky style of uh, switches like I am. And then, of course, you can get yourself a carry bag if you like. And there is also the uh, wireless charging pad for your mouse if you're looking to do something like that as well. Um, so that is an overview of that PC. So if you go back here and look at all these PCs, like I said... If you're looking for something, uh, I would say more budget friendly, but has a little, you know, but something that has a, a, a nice gaming um, ability, I would definitely look at this CyberPower PC Game Supreme. Um, and as I showed, it is liquid cooled. Um, you have the Allied Gaming around 1500, as well as the MSI Aegis RS in that price range. You can see that. Uh, all these computers I selected are highly rated, except this one does not show ratings, which is kind of odd. Maybe it's new and doesn't have any yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it also does not have Prime, nor does this one up here. So, um, actually shows Prime free delivery. So I guess uh, it actually does have, it's not your normal Prime delivery, it's actually Prime free delivery. So, um, as far as what the time frame is on that compared to your two-day shipping with Prime, I'm not sure, but uh, shipping is free in any case for these five, so that's good. Um, so we looked at, the, like I said, the Allied Gaming versus the Aegis. Um, if we look at it, we got the 5700 XT here, we got the 2070 Super here. You might have a slight gaming advantage here with the... Um, 5700 XT, but, uh, you know, it's it's all about what you want. Um, MSI is a pretty reputable, reputable brand, and it is a full tower, so you're going to have good expansion ability if that's something you want to look into. Also, this one is liquid-cooled, as we saw. I just want to go back and double-check. We went through a couple things. Yeah, so you can definitely see that this one is liquid-cooled here, um, but it does look like it's only a single radiator uh, cooling, which is fine. Uh, I prefer two, though, but um, I'm sure you could install. It looks like there's room up in the top here to be able to install a uh, larger cooler if you like, or you could replace it in the front here with the cooler um, where the RGB is if you like to do that instead. Uh, so let's go back there. So out of these two, I would definitely I'd look at this uh, MSI, but obviously if you're into white, this guy is a white case, so that might be something that would flip your fancy a little bit more. And then if you're really looking for something um, that's really kind of pre-built, that's a pretty nice powerhouse, um, doesn't have the most modern technology, but, you know, to get into something modern, if you can even get the hardware right now, uh, you know, you're looking, you're going to be looking at probably a $3,000 type price for something, um, you know, that has like a, a 3080 or a, one of the 10 900s so uh, for what's in this I think it's a great price you're getting a little bit of up kick on RAM which is always nice um, you're getting the uh, NVMe drive so that's that's cool as well um, I put together when I built the computer I built for myself um, that I'm currently uh, actually shooting this video on right now um, I have a um, Ryzen 7 3800X and a RTX 2070 Super, um, 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte NVMe, um, water cooled um, for my cop, my processor, that sort of thing. Um, obviously, I built it 
you know, assembled it myself, but uh, that came out uh, to right around, I think it was about $1,800, but that was also with a video capture card that was, I think, $150, so um, that gives you an idea of, you know, where the pricing comes in here with a more expensive CPU and a more expensive video card and 16 gigabytes of RAM beyond that, so that's a pretty good deal. Um, I think that, you know, like I said, if you're looking for a higher end PC, um, something that you'll be able to use for a while because this 2080-70 is still plenty powerful for most gaming, especially if you're doing it at uh, 1440 instead of uh, 4K. And obviously if you're still at 1080p, then, um, you know, this thing's going to burn through games no problem. Actually, any of these computers in the 1400 range and even these guys here in this 1200 range would burn through most stuff at 1080p. This guy is going to struggle at 1440p um, and they're both definitely going to struggle at 4k. In fact, most of these are going to struggle at 4k. Um, this one here probably do the best job obviously out of all of them. Um, 2070 Super, I'm running mine at uh, 1440p and uh, it does pretty well. I can get to highest settings on most games but not all um, with my Ryzen 7 so uh, that gives you an idea of kind of where you're at here as far as performance and what you can run so so that's my review like I said we got you got your options here in this range your $1,500 range here and then of course your higher end here uh, for the $2,000 price range so uh, I do also have uh, videos going up that uh, one is for a thousand dollar ish price tag for a computer if you're looking for a budget gaming setup so you can check that out if you want to look at that I'm also going to have a video um, that is going to be on computer gear as far as pieces and parts so if you're looking to maybe you want to buy one of these but you want to upgrade to um, more memory or maybe another processor that sort of thing I'm going to put a video together for that so that uh, you uh, can see what's going to be available for Black Friday and what's going to be a good deal on that. So thanks a lot. Uh, please uh, subscribe, like, and comment on the video. Um, I am going to add links down in the description for all five of these so that you can follow those links to my uh, Amazon affiliate links to um, help out the site. Um, so I'd appreciate if you would use those links if you're coming to look at any of these computers. Um, and then, uh, obviously, you know, if you end up somewhere on the site, I'll still get tracked for that. So that'd be great if you use those links. I'd appreciate it. Um, that is all I have for today. And I will say, looking forward to see you in the next video. Thanks.